Hello, we're here at Kate with actor Ernie O'Donnell, who you remember from Clerks as Rick, Rick Darris. Rick Darris. Yes. That's me, baby. Sweatbox Jim. Yo. Pumping it hard in the box with the doc. <laughs> yeah, we get the same gym. Check out these guns. <laughs> I think I grew up okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let me run that way. There you go. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> His legs slip. It's like the thumper thing happening. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's my weakness. That's right. You won't tell anyone. Oh, the, working on clerks, it was like a, at that time low budget, right? I was like, you know, ultra low budget, twenty-seven thousand dollars. Some change, yeah. Had fun to work on. Oh, clerks was clerks was a blast for me. It was a quick one night shoot, but uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. Awesome. And, and then when it came out, you saw it, of course, because you were in it, supporting Kevin. Yep. Did you think that um, you would ever get this kind of following? I'd honestly say that none of us expected it to uh, get a cult following like it did, but it, it really tapped into that Generation X uh, kind of fan base, and it took off from there. And I mean, uh, Now it's iconic, almost 22 years later, and people still relate to it. It's awesome. Yeah, well, the doctors had a job, you know, doing clerk stuff and also in a restaurant business, so I know how to deal with customers. And you actually made, or Kevin actually wrote a movie about clerks and made it awesome. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. Something a lot of us can relate to. Yeah, the general public can relate to all that nonsense with all the rude customers and people uh, acting a little strange at, <laughs> at night in a convenience store. But yeah, he tapped into something that nobody ever thought of, and, uh, you know, props to him, man. He's genius. He has that kind of talent. Yes, he does. Um, and with Clerks being, you know, in your resume, you've done more Kevin Smith movies. Yeah, I've done about six uh, Kevin Smith movies. Done a, a lot of small parts in it. Um, like we're talking about possibly doing um, G Moose Jaws coming Mo up. Moose Jaws. Tell Moose me about Moose Jaws. Well, it's basically Jaws on land. Pretty right. much well, with, with, with a moose. I have eight DVD cases in Canada. <laughs> Yeah, a little strange, but it ought to be interesting, so it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody. Right. Now, you realize that Moose Jaw is a city in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it's a play on words Moose on everything. Jaws. But, you know, I know, but there's Jaws. When we grew up, it was Steven Spielberg Jaws. Jaws, yeah. And Kevin's love for Canada. Now, his Jaws is a moose. Crazy. <laughs> wow. You know, that, that's good. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 I can see the possibilities. There's, there's a lot of possibilities. Yeah. Yep. Dr. Eva might get eaten in that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then you think after that they'll make like, you know, ju ju uh, Moose Jaw Nato or something? Or? No, I think it's, I think Kev's a one and done. He's, he's like that. Fair enough. He'll shoot his load on that and it'll be done. Where in Canada will they be filming? You got it, pal. Right. See that? Everybody wants to. We're going to hide his body later. Okay. You know. It's up. Really? Go. <laughs> the doctor's on TV. The you doctor. Know. He's working. Everybody wants a piece of the doctor. I know, right? <laughs> you hurt the doctor's feelings there. It's okay, we'll hide the body later. That's all right, we'll stuff a cat in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's another visual, thank you, there I'll you be go. stuck with for the rest that of the with, day. That with the moose. That and moose jaws. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Kevin, you're a wonder. I love him. Uh, uh, what projects are you working on currently? Uh, currently, I just got done filming a movie called uh, 100 Acres of Hell that I'm helping to produce. 100 right Acres of Hell. Starring uh, WWE superstar Gene Snitsky and the great Samu, myself and a whole bunch of other people, Eileen Dietz from The Exorcist. Look for it coming out in October of 2016. 100 Acres of Hell, what is this? Um, it is a throwback to the slasher films of the 80s. It's about four guys that go on a bros weekend right? in the hills of Pennsylvania and go to a wildlife preserve that's been abandoned for 30 some odd years, 40 years. And why would they do that? Well, because, you know... That's what guys do, right? That's what guys do. There's nobody been there. There's wildlife that is huge for hunting, and it's closed, so they just break in and start uh, causing a little mayhem, but not realizing that there are inbred mutants living there that kind of find a little uh, problem with that. Huh. They start taking these boys out one by one. But at the end, a big epic battle 
ensues. So it's a lot of blood and carnage, and uh, it's going to be fun. Now, uh, most horror movies usually have you know girlfriends that are half naked running around. Not in this. Uh, we have our, uh, a handful of young, beautiful women in the film. Uh, but we're more about the uh, you know the scares and the gore. Of course, yeah. Well, yeah. you know everyone's got to die, and everyone's like, oh yeah, everybody's dying. We don't know who dies though, and who makes it to the end. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so going to be good. When is the release expected to be? We're shoot for close to October, somewhere around Halloween of 2016. All right, the dog looks forward to. 100 Acres of Hell, baby. Is there a site you can see it on? Uh, you can go to 100 Acres of Hell on Facebook. And uh, check us out. We're on Twitter. And all the information will be on our website. 100 Acres of Hell. Yes, sir. With Ernie O'Donnell. Thanks to the doc. Rick Darris in the doc. Yeah, yeah, that's enough, yeah.